Hi, David here of Lancaster Automart A to B and Lancaster Honda. And here we've got a 2014 14 plate Honda Civic Tourer, so 1.8 SE plus. And what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you condition the vehicle's in and showing you some of the features it has. So first of all, this is a super reliable 1.8 petrol engine that I'm sure you've all heard of from the Hondas. They do keep going for a very long time, very reliable, and they're also chain driven, not cam driven, so you don't really have to worry about cam belt change at all. So the first place we start is just with the driver's side rear wheel. So it's a diamond cut design now. What I'll do is I'll spend a little bit longer on this wheel just to let you take the design in and I'll spend a little bit less time as we go around. So from there, look down the side of the body of the car, so I'll just come back a bit to get to the very end in. As you can see there, as we're going past, condition's great. There's no damage anywhere to be seen, no scratches or chips, no dents anywhere either. And then onto the wing mirror cap as well, you can see nothing there. And down the wing, nothing on that. And onto driver's side front wheel. And then moving on. So around onto the front, you do get parking sensors. So you've got four there, so there's one at the corner. Then one either side of the number plate, there and there. And you've got your last one just over here. And as you can see on the bonnet as well, there's no dents anywhere on that. Some cars are prone to that with people sitting on the bonnet. Then we're over onto the passenger side front alloy. Do apologise if I'm rushing through this one a little bit, but I'm sure you can see the weather right now. It's not great. And then hang my cap again. No damage to be seen, really good condition. And down the side of the vehicle, I'll just get the wing in as well. You can see, especially by the reflection there, how clear the paintwork actually is. And then onto the passenger side, rear wheel. And then we'll just check the roof out before moving on to any other part, uh, any other part of the car. So you do get roof bars with this Tora model. And you've also got your sharp fin DAB style antenna just there. So moving on onto the rear itself then. So you've got parking sensors along the back. So you've got the front and rear, which is definitely helpful on an estate car. And I'll just make sure the car's open before I pop the boot open. There we go. So inside the boot, got plenty of space, but it does have a pulley style load cover. There you are. So it just, I'll just zoom in that side, just clips in there. And if you want to get rid of it, you just push it down, slides out the way. So I'll leave that alone for now. Under the boot floor though, you do have quite a large storage space. There is a little hook there. The way that works, it just comes up, just hangs over there, lifts the bottom up. So plenty of storage space under there. I'll just have to use my other hand just to drop that. And if you're wondering where about spare wheel is, well, there is a big compartment here and there is an inflation kit in there. So you can check that out in the photos. You've then got a fairly large storage area, the lashing point just in front of it. And that's got a 12 volt socket on the left hand side of the boot. Over on the right hand side, you've got a little storage basket down there. And that's all you get on that side. So what I'll do for now, I'll just put my phone down a second. We'll fold that seat forward. And there you go, I'll fold that down as well. So you can see it is near enough completely flat and it is absolutely monstrous the amount of stuff you can get through there. So what I'll do is actually I'll put the other side down and we'll check it out properly. There we go. So with nothing in the boot at all, we've got plenty of room there. So I'll just jump round passenger side again. We'll just deal with the 40% split because it's a little bit easier with one hand. And you've got your little hidden door handles up there. So the way it gets so flat is the base actually folds into the floor. So what you can do, fold it back up. And these seats, you can also lift the base up. It leaves you plenty of space underneath. All you've got to do, just fold the base of the chair up. And to reverse it, you lift that up and it just drops down of its own accord. So we'll move right into the driver's side now. So as you get in, you do have electric windows all around and electric folding wing mirrors. You've then got a little sort of safety panel down here. You've got your vehicle stability assist, the alarm, and then you've got your parking sensors on that. You've then got an economy button just up there on the right hand side. This vehicle also has Parrot Bluetooth phone system. So I'll just pop my foot on the brakes. It is automatic, so there's no clutch. That will let us start the engine. 
There you go, straight into life, and just below a thousand RPM, which is exactly where you want it to be. Then on this screen up here, should have the mileage. There we go, 77,941. I'll just scroll through showing this is, again, an estate with a petrol engine, but oh, there it is. So before I started taking photos and videos, that was on 42.9, so it has dropped a little bit with me sat in here. But getting over 40 miles per gallon from an estate with a petrol, not bad at all. So onto other features then. So when you sit down, you do have the revs right in front of you, front and central, and just up at the top, you've got a digital speed owner. So on some of the other features then. So on this side, you've got all your audio controls and that button there is the one I was using just to flip through your menus up at the top. So the button at the bottom as well is a menu button, usually for what you're on on the screen. So if we're on there and I press menu, there you go. Well, trip computer up there for that. So then on this side of the wheel, you've got all your sort of cruise control settings and you do have a speed limiter with this as well. Just down here, you've got your controls for your phone. So you've got answer, end call and a voice control button. Then towards the center, you've got all your radio controls. So again, you've got CD, USB, and Bluetooth audio. Also says AUX, so there will be AUX input, I'm guessing just under here, but we'll get to that in a moment. Then got all your radio on this side. So you've got FM, DAB, and AM. And you've got telephone. So it is saying no phones are connected, so I'm guessing you don't really need the Bluetooth to set up there, eh? because the car does have it built in. And then you do get dual zone climate control as well. So if you want them on the same temperature, you press sync. If you don't, you turn that off, and then you can just adjust each temperature completely separately but for now we'll leave them unsynchronized so then onto the gearbox so first of all you do get paddle shifters if you do want to take over however if you want to leave it in its normal drive mode you've got park reverse neutral drive and then your sport mode sport i would have thought would be more than enough for most people then you've got a 12 volt power outlet just under there a couple of cup holders under here with a little bit where you can press it out as well and then underneath a nice, comfortable, fairly large armrest. You've then got USB, auxiliary input, and a 12 volt power outlet under there as well. So there are plenty of ways to connect your music up in this vehicle. And then there is also service book in there. So if you do want to check out the service history, it's usually going to be the last photo available on the advert. So if there is anything I've not covered in this video or any extra info you want, don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll see what we can do to help. Thanks. Take care. Bye.